Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. It is incredible what we can find right here in Texas. Check out heart racing attractions. And taste mouth-watering foods this great state has to offer. This is getting hot. Oh, that's right so bone. That's why I know it's good. This is delicious. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. What's up, y'all, and welcome to Yellow Texas. For the next half hour, we're gonna show you some of the coolest things to do right here in Texas and beyond. In this show, we'll listen to some great music and catch up with the brightest stars from the Texas Country Music Awards. But first, did you notice how I said the words coolest and beyond? Well, we did our research and found out a lot of Texans travel outside our state border for winter fun. And considering our winter is practically sunny all year round, we decided why not start planning for a trip to the snow? So hang on tight because we're taking a road trip to visit our friends over in beautiful Colorado. Welcome to Colorado, an adventure seeker's ideal destination for hiking, biking, and skiing on the beautiful snow-capped mountains. And just a short flight from North Texas and a quick two-hour drive from Colorado Springs, you'll find a hot springs resort at the base of Mount Princeton. We finally made it to our next destination, and uh, as you can see, uh, we're not in Texas anymore. We're actually at the bottom of Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort, where we'll be calling this our home for the next couple of days. With over 100 units of lodging, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort provides a variety of cozy accommodations, including cabins and luxury suites with spacious rooms, a warm fireplace, spa-inspired bathrooms, plus much, much more. Well, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort obviously has hot springs. That's what makes us unique. The water bubbles out of the ground here at about 140 degrees. Down in the creek, the creek water cools the water so you can make your own little pool and, and soak in the natural environment. We have the Spa and Club where we built pools and utilize the hot spring water to, uh, for relaxation and uh, the healthy benefits of the minerals. Okay. For all our guests, we offer uh, fitness classes every day. So you can come in and you can do a water yoga class, no aerobics, or even we put um, aqua bikes in the water and you can do an aqua bike class. How cool is that? There's so much to do in this area. In the summer, this place is known as a whitewater rafting destination. Okay. In the winter, we have snowmobiling, fat biking has been getting very popular, Monarch Mountains right up the road. Okay. So it's a winter wonderland and uh, uh, it, it's definitely a very unique time to experience the uh, uh, Buena Vista and Salidas during the winter. You know, you did mention Monarch Mountain and Salida. Those are some of the places that we're going to be hitting up here on this trip. So what can we do out there? What are some, maybe some tips, advice for some novice like us? Well, you're going to love Salida, Colorado. It's uh, Colorado's largest historic district, and it's filled with art galleries. It's located right on the Arkansas River, where uh, there's play holes for kayaks in the summer, and we have whitewater festivals there, music in the park, and uh, there's just a lot of history down there. And you can even take a, a walking tour with a local historian. So I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna introduce you to, uh, to Steve later today. Well, thanks, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Our next stop, Salida, known as the Gem of the Rockies. All right, y'all, so just a short drive from Mount Princeton is this beautiful small town called Salida. It is rooted with rich history and even some ghost stories, but I, I see some shops around here, so how about we make ourselves at home? YOLO! Salida sits along the upper Arkansas River Valley in the middle of Colorado. It's a charming small town with lots to offer. So to give us a tour on downtown Salida, we met up with Steve. Salida actually started out, it was a boom town uh, that was created when the railroad came here. Okay. And the railroad came to help service the mines. So once the original pioneers came in, Salida grew up very quickly. And it kind of transitioned as, as Salida kept growing to uh, what's happening today. Uh, it's a wonderful tourist town. You know, we uh, have the folks come down from Monarch Mountain when they're skiing or in the summer, they're rafting on the Arkansas River. 
which is Colorado's most commercially rafted river. Oh, nice. Well, when they finish all the fun recreation, they pop into Salida. We've got wonderful uh, family-owned restaurants downtown, uh -huh. bars, uh, art gallery. In fact, Salida was Colorado's first uh, creative district. Awesome. Well, any uh, tips, places that we need to go to while we're out here roaming the streets? Well, absolutely. You've got the art galleries nearby. I think you guys are going to head over to uh, Woods, the uh, distillery, soon. And uh, you can't go wrong with any of the restaurants. They're all really fan uh, fantastic. Well, do you mind showing us the way? Absolutely. All right. Adventure waits behind every corner. Visitors can roam the streets of downtown and find one-of-a-kind boutiques, art galleries, and exceptional dining at the Boathouse Cantina. Once you grabbed a bite to eat, stop into an art gallery, chat with the artists, and watch a live painting right before your eyes. There's artist-owned studio galleries. Um, everyone's doing something unique from furniture to monsters to, you know, fine art like mine, which is kind of impressionistic realism. Okay. And some of the others are even doing art of various kinds, you know, the, the monster maker across the streets in there tinkering away. Um, the potter might be in there throwing pots. Everyone's got to work for a living, but you might as well offer a, a foot trafficked uh, studio as well, I think. Right. And I think that is what makes Salida so fun and unique for people to just wander around in, you know? Yeah. Need a warm up from the crisp, cool weather? Woods High Mountain Distillery will do just the trick. Choose from whiskeys or gins or even a specialty cocktail. It's all locally sourced and locally made right here in Salida. Well, and then a little side note, little Birdie told me that not only are you the owner of this distillery, but you're also the mayor of Salida mm -hmm. as well. So yep. what do you love about Salida and why bring Texans out here and explore? So it's, a, it's just a really genuine town. We don't really have any uh, kind of chain stores. Everything is like locally owned, you know, they're small, genuine small businesses downtown, um, you know, the art galleries, the distillery, um, the clothing stores, all that, that, you know, you go in there, the owner's standing there behind the counter helping you out. It's really uh, makes for a, uh, for a real genuine experience, I think. And we're super nice folks too. Cheers to the friendly Cheers. folks Cheers. and a successful day one in Salida, Colorado. Now that is refreshing. All right? That's good stuff right there. We are not done yet. Next, Yellow Texas hits the slopes at the beautiful Monarch Mountain. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are clearly uh, not in Texas anymore. We made it all the way up to Monarch Mountain, the hometown mountain of Salida, Colorado, and we have a fun, jam-packed day full of outdoor activities. And let me just say, y'all, it is extremely cold out here, but we're bundled up. And first things first, we gotta check in. Let's go. Monarch Mountain is an authentic ski resort situated along the Continental Divide. It's known for its gorgeous scenery, excellent terrain, abundance of pure natural snow, and the perfect getaway for skiers of all levels. We have terrain for all abilities. So even if you come up and you have that one person that's hardcore and wants to go to the top, um, we have some really fun terrain for them, but then we also have a great learning center and, and um, yeah, some really, really mellow runs. So it's a great place to, to start out and you know grow as a skier or just say, hey, you know what, I wanna go tubing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we have um, snow tubing. So we have a tubing park that's brand new this year. We're super excited. Um, and so yeah, if you're, if you're not ready to, to hop on a skis or a snowboard, um, we do those by the, by the hour and you can uh -huh. run a tube. And we also have uphill routes. So if you, um, you know, wanna hop on cross country skis or snowshoes and go uphill and just see the beautiful view of the Continental Divide, um, yeah, we can offer that too. So yeah, and then also, I mean, we have a really great, uh, the Sidewinder Saloon bar, so a great place to warm up and, and some retail opportunities and, and yeah. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, any tips for someone who first time or skiing or hasn't skied in a long time? Any tips, anything that I need to know? 
I would say um, don't be scared, don't be nervous. <laughs> Get over that part because um, it's all about having fun. And and really, you know, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. And we'll show you how to do it right and All have right. a good time. Sounds good. Yeah. I like that. Okay, well, let's go get geared up. All right. It's not every day Texans see snow. So if you happen to forget an item, the Outer Edge shop has got you covered. Need to rent equipment by the day? Monarch's got that too. It's as easy as signing in, then let the professionals do the sizing and the fitting. How about these boots for a change? <laughs> and once that's taken care of, explore the beauty of Monarch Mountain for yourself. All right, so we are here at our first activity for the day. It is snow tubing, y'all. I've done this a handful of times on the river, but this one is a little bit different because obviously there's snow. Let's go check it out. The Monarch Tubing Park is the newest attraction on the mountain. It's fun for all ages and get this, no experience necessary. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy a fun ride down a 400-foot slide of pure snow. In three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, on to the next. New to skiing or interested in learning how to snowboard, Monarch offers group or private lessons staffed with certified instructors ready to customize to your specific goals. The most important thing in skiing is balance, right? So I always want to stay stacked, nice and centered. These things don't have brakes. So we're going to want to keep our hands out in front of us like this, our knees nice and bent, and we can just slow down with our pizza. So you guys ready to start sliding a little bit? Let's do it! And once you got your legs under you, woo! <laughs> How'd I do? Hop on the lift and explore the trails. With 800 acres of skiable land, there's numerous runs to explore, ranging from the easygoing greens to the thrill-seeking double blacks Monarch Mountain is sure to entertain all. Take a break from the slopes and warm up with a nice cup of joe from Java Stop. Or be like kings at the Sidewinder Saloon. And then here we go, lunchtime. Uh, you know, that's your go-to. Our nachos are just basically what we're famous for. Nachos and Bloody Marys. Um, we got our jalapeno popper burger there. Um, I basically consider it a burger with two sides. Um, so, you, you know, the jalapeno poppers are one side, the fries are your second. Lots of heat. Lots of heat. It'll warm you up. Another alternative to stay warm. Yes, for <laughs> sure. The perfect meal to make our trip complete. You know, if there's one thing that the show has taught me is to say yes to any new opportunity that arises in y'all. This memory is something that I will cherish forever. So if you're looking to mix up your spring break plans and maybe see some snow, definitely come out to Monarch Mountain in Salida, Colorado. And if you want, make sure to stay at the lodges at Mount Princeton. Y'all, we're gonna head back home because Texas is calling us, but we had an absolute pleasure in the mountains. See ya. Interested in planning a trip to one of the places you saw here on the show? Visit the links below for more information. Next, we head back to sunny Texas for the Texas Country Music Awards. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. Well, it's obvious that to live in Texas, you have to like country music. The tunes of Southern Swing are the soundtrack of most of our lives. So get your cowboy boots ready, y'all, because we're line dancing our way to Fort Worth for the Texas Country Music Awards. Hey everyone, 
everyone, we're here at Billy Bob's on the red carpet and not because I'm winning an award, no, actually for something a little bit better for the Texas Country Music Awards where any second now we'll be surrounded by Texas's brightest country music stars. We got dressed and ready for the occasion, so let's go ahead and make our way and meet some of the nominees. Hosted in a different hockey talk every year, presented by the Texas Country Music Association, the TCMA's is Texas Country's biggest event, bringing talented artists from all over the state together under one roof. First time out here at Billy Boss for the Texas Country Music Awards, but Alex Kova, you are no stranger to this event. So, no. welcome back, and what are you out here for? Nominated for uh, Emerging Artist of the Year. Female Vocalist of the Year and yeah. Song of the Year. Emerging New Emerging Artist. artist. Yes, How does that feel, man? It feels pretty cool. It's setting in a little bit more now yeah. that we're here at Billy Bob's. So not only are you up for one, two, but three awards tonight. What is going through your mind? How are you feeling? Give us all the, the feels. I'm getting a little nervous. I mean, it's <laughs> it's definitely um, an honor to be up with all these people and uh, just to be in such great company and Texas country music company. Yeah. Like, I love it. I love everything about being in Texas and getting to do music here. Oh, I love it. Okay, so the song that puts you on the map, what, what inspired that? Uh, well, it was, like I said, the song was called The Oil Field Dad and uh, you know, that's what the song is about, leaving my family at home and going out and trying to make a living, you know. And that's what put me on the map, and then ever since then, I've just let my heart be my guide, you know. So how would you describe to someone who's just turned, coming into that Texas country music scene, your style and your sound, how would you describe it? I would say it's a mix between Americana and folk. Oh. Uh, keep it kind of simple, let the guys with the bands record them if they want to and add their flavor and their steel and fiddles. Me personally, my style and sound is more of like kind of classic country. I kind of throw in a lot of classic country too yeah. as well as Texas country. Like I said, I pride myself on singing old fashioned country music, yeah. traditional country music, 70s to 90s, and I write my own country music. We listened to your music. We were kind of describing it in the car ride over here. We think that you're kind of like a Martina McBride slash Carrie Underwood feel. How would you say and describe your style of music and sound? God bless you. They're like my <laughs> favorite women in the world. Yes, like seriously. Nailed it. <laughs> they're just powerhouses and they're so strong in their messages and what they have to say to people and their fans and that's definitely my style of music and, and I, I just want to inspire people and make people smile with mine. Who is your inspiration as far as your, your sound of music and how you play? My biggest influence writing songs would be Monty Merle Haggard. Yeah. Show him that tattoo, huh? I got Merle on my arm. <laughs> I got Willie oh, Nelson nice. up there. I gotta put you on the spot. You are a songwriter. We haven't quite got down a, an intro song. Okay. Can you put together maybe a little ditty for oh, yeah. Yellow Texas Travel Show? Oh, I, I know I can. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, we head inside the venue for live performances only on YOLO Texas. Hi, my name is Brandon Ryder, and you're watching YOLO Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas where we are inside of Billy Bob's in Fort Worth, Texas for the Texas Country Music Awards. Presented by the Texas Country Music Association, we met with the organization's leading couple, Linda and Richard Wilson. We just do our best to try to get the artists out there that really don't get hurt. I mean, we love the big guys, but you know, yeah. the big guys don't need us, but the, but the other guys do. So so that's kind of, kind of where it came from. And then we decided to try our hand at doing an award show having started it in 2014 and 15. And, uh, and we, that went over so well that we decided to look for a larger market to go into. So we, we came to Fort Worth, we looked around and we settled on Fort Worth. It's Cowtown, it fits, it's perfect. Yeah. And that's what we try to do. Oh, absolutely. And you are doing a wonderful job at doing that. Last question, because fans get to sit in and enjoy being a part of this Texas country music scene. So what can they do all weekend long, specifically the day of the awards ceremony? Well, today at four o'clock we have, and I'm really proud of this, we have the Musician and Songwriter Awards. We've got some showcase artists that are playing during the pre-show, yeah. and then we we're gonna take a little bit of a break, and then our main award show will kick off at six. And if you're a fan of the genre, getting a chance to speak with Brandon Ryder himself, 
is definitely a treat. I'm sorry for being a little starstruck because I listen to your music all the time and it's great to be here next to you, the host of the Texas Country Music Awards today. What's in store? What should we expect as ah. far as everything tonight? Well, I mean, to be able to have this event in its third year, it's kind of the granddaddy of, of yeah. it all of for me. Tons. I think yeah. it's a, a really great set and everybody's looking forward to it. Um, I think it looks like it's going really smooth right now. It looks so, really good. Can't wait for that opening monologue. You got yeah. something kind of cool, fun, Well, quirky? I'm just going to step in there and not, not try to, you know, mess it up. <laughs> the TCMAs has 21 categories with five finalists acknowledging the very best industry pros and artists. My co-host and uh, winner already, Ms. Jen Ford. This is our third year in a row that we've been able to partake in this event. We're so excited to be here at Billy Bob's Texas. <laughs> With that said, let's present the Christian Country Single of the Year. 2019 Texas Country Music Awards Country Album of the Year goes to Female Artist of the Year is Josh Ward. <laughs> Holly Tucker. I ain't got much to say. I love Texas and I'm proud to be a Texas artist. <laughs> Could do that. Sprinkle in live performances from the nominees. You got yourself quite the show. All right, y'all, that is the end of the award show, and we hope that we were able to just shed some light and share the stories on some of these amazing and talented up and coming rising stars. You know, Texans, we always do a really good job at supporting each other and sticking together. So make sure to start planning for next year's event and see all of this for yourself. If you want to attend the ceremony for yourself, head on over to texascountrymusic.org for show information. All right, y'all, that is all the time we have for today. If you happen to miss a previous episode, no worries. Visit our website at yellowtx.com for past adventures. And while you're at it, follow us on our social media pages as well. And remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you out there.